feel free to uh, humiliate me in the comments. Welcome to this week's vegan alcohol free reviews. If you're new around here, check out my channel trailer to find a little bit more about me and what makes alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks vegan unfriendly. Also, please put in the comments below any vegan alcohol free drinks you would like me to review and I'll review them for you. So if you wanna know sort of what drinks are gonna suit you, then stick around and you can do this by subscribing and there's a bell icon. If you hit that, it will notify you of any new videos I do. Without further ado, let's review this week's drink. So this week's drink is the Erdinger, alcohol free. Okay, um, now I've heard of Erdinger before. I used to have, I used to drink the alcohol version. I found out the other day that this is actually good for you believe it or not, and I'll come to that in a second. It's a refreshing isotonic drink, okay? It's obviously vegan. It's also healthy. It basically contains B9 and B12. So I'm gonna read this label to you. It says, the distinctively refreshing flavor of our isotonic thirst quencher, Erdinger Alcohol Frey, is what makes it so unique. And it is alcohol free. I, I know how to say alcohol free. I've, I've not had one of these yet. Um, it's purely natural ingredients supply the body with important nutrients. Tired and exhausted? Question mark. B9 and B12 help reduce tiredness and promote the normal functioning of the body's immune system and energy met metabolism. One half a litre bottle of Erdinger a day can already make a contribution to a varied, well balanced diet and healthy lifestyle. Oh. Erdinger alcohol free or free contains less than half a percent ABV. So yeah, I've not even tasted this yet. Well, I have actually, to be fair, I cheated. I had one of these last night, but oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be my favorite drink. It's gonna be my favorite drink from the purpose of I can drink lots of it and not feel guilty, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's my favorite drink when it comes to the taste, but I'll come on to that in a moment. This is interesting actually. So it does say here, not alcohol free for the purposes of UK food law. Now I thought that actually half a percent was classed as alcohol free because it takes, I think it's 15 minutes to actually burn half a, half a percent ABV. So I actually thought that that was, but apparently not. So the ingredients, water, wheat malt, barley malt, hops, yeast, and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, I mean, that's in everything, is it not? Is it, I, I, I'm not the smartest of blokes, let's put it that way, but I thought carbon dioxide was in a lot of the uh, fizzy, fizzy drinks. Anyway, feel free to uh, humiliate me in the comments. Science was never my strong point. Feel free to, you know, take the piss. So yeah, as I said earlier, I had one of these last night and I actually woke up, I only had one, keep that in mind, one, but I woke up with a headache. Now, I used to get quite severe headaches when drinking alcohol, it's one of the reasons why I quit. Um, but have you ever had the alcohol-free version of Erdinger and actually had a headache? It could just be the fact that I was already dehydrated and then I had one of these. And it, yeah, it just effectively didn't help. Or do these actually give you headaches? Because I'm gonna try this one now and I'm not gonna be recording another video to, I might put in the comments actually, whether or not it gave me another headache. But yeah, without further ado, the Erdinger Alcohol Free Fray. So at a party, I'd probably drink it straight from the bottle. So I'm gonna do that first, uh, like a complete hooligan and then I'll pour it into a glass and tell you which one I prefer. One thing I forgot completely, not forgot to tell you, because that would have been a spoiler, but just drinking it directly in the bottle, my God, it's lively. I forgot how lively this is. To date, it's without a doubt the most liveliest um, alcohol free one that I've, I've, I've tried, if that makes sense. Sorry, I need to try it from the bottle again. Oh, get past all the froth first. 
I'm going to let it settle. It took too long to settle, so I used a spoon to get the froth out. Right, here we go. Definitely prefer it from a glass. It's just too lively coming out of the, you know, out of the bottleneck. When you drink it from a glass, it's just, I don't know, but I can tolerate it a lot more. And it's, it is lovely. I can't really remember what the alcohol version tastes like. Um, I remember it being quite a unique, distinct taste. This certainly has got that. This is something that if I was abroad and it was served to me, I would feel like I was abroad. I'd be like, yeah, I'm on holiday. This tastes good. But I don't know, trying to get my head round drinking it in the UK, it's, uh, it's, it's not a taste I'm a sort of accustomed to. It doesn't taste like an IPA. It tastes like a foreign beer. And it is lovely. It is lovely. It's certainly making me want to... Uh, jump on a train or a plane and, and go overseas so yeah i mean on a scale of like one to ten i would certainly give this probably an eight um yeah it's not my favorite um but in terms of like health wise if you if you need to drink an alcohol free beer this is the one to to drink effectively this you know you you can't get much better than having vitamins in, in an alcohol free drink can you really a lot of um, soft drinks you know like i won't mention any brands actually but you know the main ones they're not good for you just full of sugar but i'd imagine this is probably full of sugar actually 26.5 grams of carbohydrates of which 18 grams of that is sugars so i don't really know what that means in layman's term. So in regards to reference intake for an average adult, you get 26% of vitamin B12, which I don't know if you know, originally comes from soil that then can be found in plants. Because obviously we don't get it from the soil, do we? we? We get it from the plants. Or if you eat meat, the animal gets it from the plant and then you get it from the animal. But something else that's also quite interesting is it says it contains negligible amounts of fat, saturated fatty acids, protein and salt. So yeah, this is just like super healthy for you. Or that's how, or maybe I'm being sold to. Let me know in the comments. Are you a nutritionist? Am I being stupid or naive about this? Let me know. Also put in the comments below, are there any alcohol-free drinks that you'd like me to review? I'll happily do that for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, dislike the video. You know, I'm... I'm easy going. Please also put in the comments below any feedback. Is you know, is there anything that I need to be covering that I'm not covering? Because I'm bound to be missing something obvious. And you know, this is our journey. I'm doing this for, not just for myself, but also for you. And hopefully you find these reviews beneficial. So cheers. Don't forget to check out this video to find out whether or not I like it more or less than the Erdinger. Thanks for watching. See you next week.